I've been uh, working away at the Gib uh, and I've got it really, really close right now. Uh, so I've got this set up back on the uh, knee with the parallels and the cylindrical square. And right now I'm just going to run this side here, which would be the uh, guiding way side of the column. And I've got a tense indicator there. And I'm just going to bring the... I'm going to bring the knee down and we'll see uh, we'll see how it looks. So that's uh, that's one thou, and um, that wasn't quite twelve inches, but that was ten inches, and uh, the spec is one thou and twelve. So um, we're very very close right now, and there I just started moving that back up. So that was about. That's forward and back, or up and down. There's only about five tenths of rock in that. And um, I had checked a bridge port that I had access to that was uh, hardly used and very, very expensive. And um, at, at this point, the way it's being used, there was uh, two thou movement when you go from when you change from uh, going up or and going down on the knee so uh, I'm pretty happy right now so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna crank this back all the way up and then I'll switch the indicator to the front side of the cylindrical square to check the attitude of the knee um, lengthways So this is the exact same setup, same indicator, and now we're just on the front side of the uh, cylindrical square here, and we're going to go down with the knee. So in that same distance, that's just over 2,000. Um, I think that indicator is getting lighter, yes, which is, um, which means the front of the knee is up. The closest the operator is up, which is the actual desired condition that over time it will drop, the front will drop. So if I were to do anything there, which I'm going to try, and pull that back so that I have one thou so I'm plus one thou across that distance raised on the operator side of the knee and the other nice really good thing now is this is this is an up and down motion there's only uh, maybe two tenths movement 
really happy with that fit right now. Just uh, I need to get just a little bit more, um, uh, in alignment front to back. I was surprised at the last results and on 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 the knee forward and backward. I knew it wasn't perfect, but I, uh, the last time I measured it, I didn't think it was that far out, so I was just checking my setup, and something was a little loose, so at this point, even now, as I bang that indicator, well, not the indicator, but what it's attached to here, I'm getting a little bit of movement but this set up here is stronger than the last one so I'm going to try and well that doesn't sound good yeah I've got the gib too tight now I'm just going to bring that indicator back in there. I'm very happy with that. Um, that's where I thought I was on that direction, and uh, I'll have to go through back through the video. But and there, at that point there, that's up and down. So it looks like there's about five tenths. And I think overall. It was maybe six or seven tenths travel across the uh, length of the cylindrical square there. So, and it's in the right direction that that indicator's been getting lighter, which means the front of the knee is up. Which over time, as it wears, the front of the knee will go down. Which is, uh, I think, I'm in the right. I'm in the right position here. I'm going to. Uh, do a few more touch-ups on the gib. I want to lighten up the center and make sure the ends are contacting and then uh, I think we're about ready to put the saddle on. One of the things that was missing on the uh, bridge port, and I know a lot of guys take them out and they're probably not really important, but I want to uh, actually put it in, make one up, make, it actually comes two pieces, it's the, um, it's the stop for the knee travel, so one goes in the column and one goes in the back of the knee, and um, I got a little break in the action here, I need to get the saddle uh, and start working on uh, checking geometry on the saddle and so what I wanted to do was make up at least the one that goes in the column next time I have the knee off I'm gonna leave the knee on with the gib adjusted the way it is right now um, anyway one of the things that I want to do is make up uh, two stops I'll start with a column one which is um, there appears to be 
almost like a pilot bore in there which I measure at about 7 16 so it's just a 3 8 16 thread and that's 7 16 pilot bore and then I'll just put a groove in it to put a screw um, screwdriver in there just to uh, tighten it up so far I've got the this diameter turned down to 7 16 this down to 3 8 ready to thread and I got an undercut there a little chamfer on the front and I, I made this a little longer here because I'm I'm anticipating I can use uh, flip this around and use this for the piece that goes in the back of the knee as well just thought I'd uh, show the final few passes here on my threading so I actually <coughs> I leave the half nut engaged and I use my forward and reverse on my VFD. Um, so I, I think it actually works out pretty good that way. See what we got there. Still a little tight. It just about wants to go. Perfect. And so now I'm just going to uh, park this off. I'm just scaling it. It's 425. That includes 125 thou. That'll fit inside that in the counterbore in the column.
Not the cleanest. It's gonna work. So I've got the stop finished up now. Just a just a nice fit in there in that counter bore. And I got um, I just used a hacksaw. I just put a groove in there, open it up with some small files, and uh, fit the screwdriver nice now. Threads are a nice tight fit. So now next step, um, when I have the knee off next, I'll make uh, double check the thread on that and um, if there's a counter bar I can't remember and then we'll make one up for the knee as well. Since I had the knee off to check it on the uh, surface plate, I thought I'd have a look at this is the uh, this is the stop pin I made for the column and um, on the back of the knee the, on the only difference is on the back of the knee there's no there's no counter bore um, 3816 so I think what I'll do for the knee is I'll just make this a little bit um, um, shorter the the actual stopping pin make it just a little bit shorter but I'm gonna make it identical to the one that goes to this one which goes in the column 